Hello, Ricardo. Hello, Juan. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? I'm glad to see you one more time. Hello. I'm still here. Just one second. All right. Okay, good night guys. I hope you started yesterday's topic so we can move tonight into the next topic. Can somebody tell me what did we talk about yesterday? What was yesterday's topic? Years two and four. Two and four. Hmm. Mm. So yes, we talked mm -hmm. about when to use two and when to use four. So we use two before a verb and we use four before? And four use verb <laughs> and gerim. Gerim, very good. Then we talked about the syllable stress, right? Yes. Okay. Mm, yes. Do you have any questions about the syllable stress? Mm, no question. Is it right? Okay. Difficult. Difficult. The, oh, come on. Nothing mm, is difficult. Yes, found difficult for me found the uh, stress in the oh, work. To find the stress. Did you use the tool that I send you on the on the group in the group? Yes. <laughs> Did you find more words? More words. Uh, you, Juglish. You send a link uh, for juglish.com. That's right. Okay. Did you find any other word? Any no. new word? So how, how, how do you say comodo in English? Comfortable. 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 Hmm. Ricardo? Comfortable. Mm. Comfortable. Giovanni? Giovanni? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? Mm -hmm. Listen to your classmates. Listen to your classmates. They said what? Comfortable. Okay, Ricardo? Com Comfortable. Okay, Giovanni, that's a that's a known word for you. Uh, comfortable, close, very close, Marlon. Hi, teacher. Do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, uh, comfortable. Her, comfortable. Comfortable. Juan, comfortable. Okay, so you say yo, yo, yo decía comfortable. Comfortable. Yo también decía así cuando empezaba a aprender. Comfortable. Ok. Comfortable. Los británicos dicen aún así. Comfortable. 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 Hay dos pronunciaciones yeah. para eso. La forma británica es así bien pronunciada. Comfortable. Pero lo normal, lo más común es decir. Comfortable. Comfortable. Ese comfortable no suena. Comfortable. Oye, comfortable. Comfortable. Teacher. Ahí está. Comfortable. Comfortable, teacher. Perfecto, Juan, very good. Uh -huh. hoy, hoy hablé con un señor que estuvo viviendo en Inglaterra y me dice que la diferencia del inglés de Inglaterra con el de los Estados Unidos es que en inglés es más polite. Más polite. Polite. En inglés. More polite. En inglés, inglés. Inglés británico. Británico, en inglés, inglés de Inglaterra. Sí. Como más educados. En, sí, en de hecho. Lugar. Muchos ocupan el auxiliar en las formas positivas. Por ejemplo, uh, I do say that. 
y más que todo en el pasado. I did tell you that. I did tell you that. I did go to school yesterday. Un americano te diría, I went to school yesterday. Uh -huh. Sí, I, I went to school. Uh -huh. I yes. did go to school. Uh -huh. Siempre van a ocupar la auxiliar. Y por eso a veces eso te suena raro. So, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Good. So, continue practicing. Schedule. Schedule. Can you find it? Schedule. Not an easy word. Okay. Let's see what comes next on your platform. We have to practice a conversation. Can I borrow your cell phone? Hmm. Can I borrow your cell phone? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, your, yeah, your wife is asking you, right? Your wife is asking you, can I borrow your cell phone? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Let's go. Let's see. Hi again. Listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Phone to call my boss. Station, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Okay, first question. Who owns the phone? Whose phone is it? Rang off the girl. The girl, the girl's friend? Yeah, the girl's friend. Better. The girl's friend. Yeah, sounds... Yeah. <laughs> that sounds better. <laughs> the girl's friend. Yes, that's the girl's friend. First question. Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? Who are they calling? Someone else. Who are they calling, Giovanni? Her uh, boss. Her boss, perfect, easy. What's the first thing to do? What, what is the first thing to do with a cell phone? Write the number. Turn on. Okay, yeah. Excellent, oh. type, type the number. Type the number, very good. What should the woman press? What? Should she press? What should she press? What should the woman press? Uh, Hector, what should the woman press? Mm, maybe. Maybe call. Excellent. You have to press. Did he say call button? Call. Or, or send? Mm -hmm. No, call the barrel. call button. The call button, right? Okay, that's what the woman should press. The call button. If you are not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Okay, now these answers are you're supposed to give them on the conversation, 
on the discussion forum. Now, let me try to get the best possible angle of that conversation. And let me know if you can read it. I'm gonna send it to your WhatsApp. Please check if you can read this conversation. I cannot find you. Wait a minute. There you are. Can you tell me if you can see the, le the letters? Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. <laughs> oh, turn it on was first. Be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, can somebody continue? Let me know if you can read. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. Next. Next. Somebody. Someone. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. That's because you haven't pressed. Pressed. The call button. Good. Next. Oh, good. It's oh, good. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go, go ahead. Repeat. Oh, good. Oh, good. It's ringing. Oh, good, it's ringing. Good. Oh, good, it's ringing. Good, better. Next. Someone Try else. not to get too excited. Okay. You uh -huh. probably get his voice mail. Good, very good. Next. Somebody else, come on, guys. Uh, you're right. It's a uh, recording. Okay, Ravin, you're right. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. It's a recording. It's a recording. Very good. And the last one? Yeah, last Make sentence. Sure. Make sure to hit the end button or else you leave our conversation, his voicemail. Perfect, very good. Okay, so you can read that. We are 10 right now, nine. Okay, I'm gonna split you right now into small groups so you can practice the conversation at least two times, okay? Just five minutes and we come back so we can move to the next topic, okay? Let's go. Room four. Ah, empecemos, empieza okay. Stephanie. Solo, solo les voy a pedir un favor, de hecho yo no me había, eh, por, por temas de trabajo, no había podido incorporarme, okay. no, al grupo de WhatsApp, creo que lo ah. enviaron, era una conversación ahí, no sé si... Lo voy sí. a reenviar. Por favor. Bye. Ok, thank you. Yeah. Ok. Um... Uy, pero yo soy choca. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And that doesn't ever that. Don't. 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 Forget to dial the dial. 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 
Okay, Diane, the area code. code. Area code. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the code button. Oh, good. It's ringing, ringing. It's ringing. Ringing. It's ringing. Ringing. Mm -hmm. ringing. Try not to get too excited. You're probably get his voicemail. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit we to hit the end button. Then button. Uh, button or else. You lo último no lo logro leer, niños. Leo Leo. Or conversation, conversation on his voice mail, me imagino que dice. Correcto, sí, cabal así. Vaya, hoy empieza Giovanni, luego voy yo y luego Stephanie. Okay. okay, okay. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's raining. Wait, wait, wait. Ringing. Pressed. Pressed. You pressed. 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 The call okay. button. Pressed. Very good. Good, oh, guys. Good. good pronunciation. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get to a site. You probably get his voicemail. Okay, try not to get too excited. 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 Try not to get too excited. Mm -hmm. Continue. I can yes, continue. please. You You'll probably get his voicemail. You are right, it's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you leave our conversation or oh, no, 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 on his voicemail. Okay. okay. That's it. Good job. Okay, this was just a practice. Now let's move on so we can check the next grammar point here. Okay. Let's go. Hoy, ¿quién más sigue? Déjese ahí, Carlos, ¿y quién más? No sé, creo que no quieren hablar. Carlos. Carlos, ¿y quién más está con nosotros? ¿Eh? Sí. Hola. ¿Qué, qué eres Hola. 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 Some of you guys were out of the room. Let's wait for the others. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here they come. Edwin. Ricardo, okay. Good. I know you couldn't read that much. Did you understand the whole conversation? Any questions about the conversation? All clear? All clear, teacher. Clear. Okay, good. Okay, let's move on. 
Okay, so we're going to talk about imperatives now. Who can tell me what is an imperative? It's like an order. An order, for example? Make your hunger. Mm, do. Do your hunger, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, do your homework. Uh-huh, another example, Giovanni? Maybe eat your food. Eat your food. Very good. That's it. Okay, so yes, it's a direct order. Actually, imperatives are used to give orders um, for recommendations too. We will see that right now. Okay, so let's pay attention to the short video and then we will practice this new grammar. Please grab a pen and paper if you have handy. It'd be very useful. Okay. Before you watch the video, I want to remind Hello everyone. Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure. Make sure. Don't forget. Remember. Okay, so there you have some examples on um, how to start an imperative, which is more common to use to use an imperative. imperative. So be sure. Can somebody give me an example to be sure? Mm -hmm. Be sure to turn oh, off the it. lights. If be sure. you don't want to waste a lot of in, in bills. If you want to waste, if you don't want to waste a lot in bills. Very good. Uh -huh. Be sure to call me next week. Be sure. That's right. Doesn't it sound better to say make sure? Make, uh, make, yeah. make sure. Okay. Make sure to call me next week. Okay. Good. Um, Erika, Mercy, Carlos, Victor, don't forget. Don't forget the tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't forget don't the tomatoes. Forget, don't forget to make your homework. Now, Siguiendo el ejemplo que decía el video, don't forget the tomatoes. Eso suena más una orden, ¿verdad? Don't forget the tomatoes. Mercy, ¿cómo lo harías más polite? Uh, no olvides los tomates. No olvides traer los tomates. Don't forget. Uh, don't forget. Would you mind? Podría ser con, please don't forget. 
Okay. Ya, chicos, Por favor, ya. No, no olvides traer los tomates. Ya. Ah, no dijiste traer. Ahí no ha dicho traer. Solo está diciendo, please, don't forget, don't forget the tomatoes. To, bright, to bring. Bring the bring. There you go. Don't forget to bring the tomatoes. Please, don't forget to bring the tomatoes. Very good. Excellent. You got it. What about remember? Recuerda escribirme cuando llegues. Come on. Recuerda escribirme cuando llegues. Remember works the platform. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Remember to work the platform. Okay. Recuerda escribirme cuando llegues. Uh -huh. Remember, you will write when you are right. <laughs> when you write. Okay, so, después del imperativo, voy a ocupar un infinitivo. Es lo que estaba menos ahorita. ¿Cómo dijimos que eran los infinitivos? To and um, verb base. Correct. So, to plus the base verb. So, be sure to call me. Make sure to exercise every day. Don't forget to tell your mom, to tell your mom. Remember to come back for Christmas. Remember to come back for Christmas, to come back. Okay. Try. Mm -hmm. Giovanni, try. Try to make your work better. Do, try to do your work better. Try to do your job. Sounds better. Try to do your job better. Try to do your job better. Very good. Okay. 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 So that's as simple as that. Después del verbo viene un infinitivo. O sea, otro verbo, ¿verdad? Pero lo separamos con el to. Okay. Try. Let's make examples oh. using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Okay. Did you understand? These are negative suggestions. Be sure not to speak in your native language. Make sure not to forget your dictionary. And for the first time in a long time, I see a double negative. Don't forget not to stay quiet in class. Don't forget not to stay quiet in class. Remember not to translate into your native language. Try not to mispronounce the words. So this is the way you make negatives. Questions? No. Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, de los verbos siempre se usarán eh, en presente. Mm -hmm. OK, los verbos se van a ocupar siempre en um, su infinitivo. To stay, to speak, to forget, you see, to translate. Se le llama infinitivo, como veíamos ayer, creo, eh, porque lleva la preposición to antes. To, mean, to, mispronounce, to mispronounce, to translate, to stay, to forget, to speak. 
Okay. Questions? Let's, let's break the rules. Let's break the rules. Can somebody tell me what does the first sentence say? Be sure not to speak in your native language. Asegura de no hablar en tu lenguaje nativo. Louder. What? Asegura de no hablar en tu lenguaje nativo. Yeah. Asegúrate de no hablar en tu lenguaje nativo. Ok. Y sin el not, ¿qué diría? Asegúrate de hablar en tu lenguaje nativo. Very good. Next, make sure not to forget your dictionary. Merci. Merci. Make sure not este, to forget your dictionary. Asegúrate de no olvidar tu diccionario. Perfect. Very good. This is simple. Edwin, don't forget not to stay quiet in class. No olvides, no olvidar. Eh, oh. No olvides. ¿Ah? No olvides. No quedarte callado en clase. Perfect. Don't forget not to stay quiet in, in, in class because you need to talk. Very good. Next one, Hector. Remember not to translate into your native language. Recuerda tra eh, traducir en tu lenguaje nativo. Okay, that's without the not. Lo que acabas de decir es que sin el not. ¿Cómo sería con el not? Ah, con el not. Uh -huh. eh, sería eso lo que les dije. <laughs> no, la positiva dijiste, remember, uh, recuérdate. Um, de traducir en tu lenguaje nativo. Recuérdate de traducir en tu lenguaje nativo. ¿Cómo sería con el not? Recuerda. Recuerda no traducir en tu lenguaje nativo. Excellent. Very good. And the last one. Try not to mispronounce the words. Try not to mispronounce the words. Kike. Uh, intenta no perder la pronunciación de las palabras. Hmm. Not to mispronounce. ¿Qué sería mispronounce? Can somebody translate it into Spanish? Pronunciar mal. Pronunciar mal, right. Entonces, Kike. Intenta no pronunciar mal las palabras. Perfect. Simple. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. Now, this is very useful, guys. This is very important for you to do, to use these uh, imperatives. Now. This thing is just deleting this one second. Do you have any questions? Questions? No? Okay. It is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Okay, let's try it now. Let me split the class one more time and try to use imperatives um, to give suggestions, okay? Make it positive and negative. Practice as much as you can with your classmates. We will only have 10 minutes to practice with your classmates, okay? Let me recreate. Two, four, three, two, okay, perfect. Okay, let's go.
Remember it your dinner. Eat your dinner. Okay. Yes. Um be sure be sure not to use your cell phone on the street. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, vamos. Um, make sure to do all all the work. All the work. All the work. Okay. Another remember to sleep. Um, well, a, a, remember to sleep eight hours. So, ocho horas son supuestamente. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Make sure to take the medicine. Make sure to take your medicine. Okay. Mm, to arrive early tonight. Sorry, Rebecca. I didn't listen. Try to arrive early tonight. Try to arrive early tonight. Okay. okay. Uh, remember, visit your mother. Okay. Um, remember Start to visit. Uh -huh. Remember to buy some gifts for Christmas. Mercy. Another example. Bueno, representación de la chica Rebeca otra vez. To bueno. clean the house uh, when you come back of your travel. Okay. Remember to take a bath every day. I think this will be a good exercise if and you. Uh -huh. This will be a good exercise if you were leaving your kids alone. It's like doing a role play, right? Uh -huh. Like Giovanni is the father, Rebecca is the mother, Marlon and Mercy are the kids, and they're being left alone at home. So Giovanni and Rebecca will tell Marlon, make sure you don't watch. Oh, make sure not to watch too much television. Make sure not to play too much Nintendo. Make sure to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, right? Okay, good job, guys. Continue practicing. I will go to another classroom. Great job. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Dad, Giovanni. Okay, make sure to speak in the class. Another example. Okay. Teacher, yo estaba consultando aquí con ellos y la la última estaba bien redactada. Nature puede entrar al, al chat. Ahí la vamos poniendo. Nature to watch. Teacher, lo vamos diciendo y lo vamos anotando. Ajá. Oh, ok. Ajá. No, no puedo ver los mensajes que se habían enviado previamente antes de yo entrar a su grupo. Okay, but this this will be a great exercise. Let's say that Stephanie and Juan are traveling overseas. They are traveling to London, from El Salvador to London. Stephanie and Juan. And Edwin and Erica are the kids. You're leaving, you're leaving Edwin and Erica at home. So you, Stephanie and Juan, you start telling Edwin and Erica, make sure not to play Nintendo, okay? Don't forget to wash the dishes. Remember to do your English homework. 
Mm. Remember not to fight. Remember not to fight. Mm. Okay. Remember call nine to call. Remember to call nine one one if there is an emergency. Got it. Got it. That's a clear example. So you are the father and the mother, Stephanie, Juan, Edwin, and Erica are at home, alone. <laughs> They will be alone. Remember not to throw a potty. <laughs> not to throw a potty. What is that? Not to throw a potty. Yeah, make sure not to throw a potty. Or try. Try not to throw a potty. Intenten <laughs> no. Hacer una fiesta, right? Okay. ¿Sí se entendió el ejemplo, chicos? Sí, sí, sí. sí. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, continue practicing. I will go to another classroom, to another okay. room. Thank you. Okay, okay. You. B. B. A. C. U. O. U. U. No. B A C U mm. oh yeah yeah you're right you're right you're right yes you're right B A C U U M mm -hmm. okay. be sure to turn off the vacuum another sentence Turn uh, on the, vi the vacuum. Hmm? Vacuum. The vacuum. Turn, turn on the vacuum. Off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn the vacuum. Off. Don't the forget. Vacuum. Don't forget to turn off the coffee maker. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to turn off the coffee maker. If you live don't alone. Oh, don't forget to turn off the uh, the iron. <laughs> the iron. Yes, the lights. Very good. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Try to practice with not. It's not. Try not. I... Try not to go to the neighbors. Try not to go out. Okay. Using try. So, esto es como, como por ejemplo, digamos que Kike se vía, se es el papá de ustedes dos de Ricardo y de Germán y los va a dejar solos en la casa los dos. Tienen que 15, 14 años. ¿Qué le dirías que Kike a Ricardo y a Germán? ¿Qué instrucciones le darías? Uh, no se sangren cuando peleen. Ok, good. Good, don't uh, hurt. Ok, uh, so, hurt. What, how would you do it? You will say, um, try, don't. try, right? Try not uh -huh. to, try not to hurt yourself if you fight. Try not to yourself. hurt yourself. To hurt. Uh, to hurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try not to hurt try yourself. Not to, try not to hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm sorry, it's Wait. yourselves. Yourselves. Uh -huh. Self with no, S to plural. the N. No, plural. Yourselves. Good, Ricardo. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. When when fight? If you fight. Ah, uh, if you fight. Tengo que decirles decir uh -huh. cuando peleen es porque asumiste que van a pelear. <laughs> if you fight. Uh -huh. Fight. If you fight, the 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 expression is suggestion. A suggestion. No. No. What do you mean? If you fight? If, if you fight. Si pelean. Yes. Si pelean. Uh -huh. Yeah. Remember that there is a you for you, one person, and you for you, two people. You. Ustedes. Yes. Right? You fight. Okay. Uh, try not to hurt yourself if you fight. You got it. Try not to hurt yourselves. Yourselves. Uh -huh. Yourself. Yourself. Uh -huh. Yourselves. Yourselves. 
yourselves. Yourselves. Better. Thank you. Yourselves. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys, keep going. Uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. More examples. <laughs> De allá por enero, febrero. Ajá, en febrero comenzaba. Bueno, ya entré en la segunda. Ok, examples. Esperando los teachers. <risa> Teacher, eh, lo que estaba diciendo una de ellos es que en qué momento vamos a utilizar be sure y en qué momento make sure, porque como que los dos eh, al final como que significa lo mismo de hecho si sí, todo significa casi que lo mismo no be sure y make sure es asegúrate está seguro eh, asegurarse asegúrate nada más vamos querrían decir asegúrate uh -huh. be sure and make sure los Pero dos vaya, se puede ocupar en, en el mismo contexto. Entonces. Cualquiera de los dos. Todo esto es el mismo contexto. Está dando una sugerencia, una recomendación, ¿no? Don't Pero no forget. es que uno sea más polite que el otro. No, ¿verdad? Los dos están en el no, mismo. No, todo está en el mismo, en el mismo nivel de politeness. Mm. Ajá. Okay. Estábamos diciendo, be sure not to walk eh, in the street at night. Be sure not to walk in the street at night. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Otro ejemplo que vimos fue remember not to com complete the platform. <gasps> no, remember not to complete. No. Remember mm. to complete the platform. Come on, guys. Ya me dio un consejo, yo no. Another example. Um, maybe another, another example. Another example. Um, Might be. Rem remember, um, remember to practice the the class. Remember to practice the class. Yeah. Remember to check the class. To review the class. Yeah. Yes. Remember not to don't, miss. Or another example, don't forget to use the infinity verb af, af, um, after the subjections. Uh -huh, yes, that's right. After the imperative. Imperative. Yeah, what you see in red are the imperatives. We make, don't forget. Uh, DNA. Ah, okay. Imperative. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. okay. Let's go back. Okay. okay let's go. <coughs> teacher. No sé si le escribí bien. Por ejemplo, di, escribí una que dice Don't forget to pray before off sleep o before off to sleep. ¿Qué dice el público? Tengo el meme de Don Francisco. Pero... To sleep. Don't forget to pray before off to sleep right before go, before or sería mejor before go to sleep before okay don't forget to pray hasta ahí ocupaste el imperativo con el infinitivo don't forget sería el imperativo el, um, el imperativo right don't forget y luego tenés to pray, ese es tu infinitivo, Juan. Okay, before, I will say, going to sleep. Mm, before going in, in gerund. In gerund, very good. 
Don't forget to pray before going to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be like the most natural way. What other way is there to say that, Rebecca, Marlon, Abigail, Ricardo, Giovanni? How else will you say, don't forget to pray before going to sleep? Don't forget to pray before sleep. Before sure. sleep. That's the problem. Uh, before, I cannot say before sleep. Before sleep. You have to say before sleeping. Before sleeping. Mm -hmm. Before sleeping, yes. Okay, any other? Indirect object. Don't forget to pray before you go to sleep. More specific, before you go to sleep. Before before going to sleep is you have to wait for everyone to go to sleep and you pray. You pray. Before you go to sleep. Makes sense. Can I right? say don't forget to pray each each night? Every night. Every every night. Don't forget to pray every night. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Always think about other ways to say things. Okay. Uh, bien, chicos. Vamos a pausar acá un poco. Vamos a desacelerar. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta con este topic? Don't forget. Mm -hmm. No, 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 picture, no. Okay. Make sure to say good night before you go to sleep. Okay. Not just like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. He was waiting. <laughs> He hasn't seen me. He has two days without seeing me. I'm, I've been here for two days. Oh my God. And then teacher. <laughs> what? Yes, Juan. This uh, topic only used to. It's only used to. For, for order. O sea, solo para dar ordenes. Este, to give orders? Aquí. What do you think, guys? Es solo para dar orden. Sugerencias. Inger Inger sugerencias. Yeah, you can say it to, to give suggestions. Very good. Y sí, eh, por eso ese es el tema, Juan. No puedes. Solo o para. Sea, eh, el punto es que un imperativo, decía el, la presentación, se forma por un verbo, sin el sujeto, Juan. Entonces. Uh, a ver, Juan, hagamos un ejercicio súper rápido. Quique, ok, sí, good. Uh -huh. Deme un verbo, Quique, dame un verbo. Uh, write. Write every word you say. Mm -hmm. Esa es una forma, la forma básica del imperativo es ese. Verbo y el complemento. Write sí, every que... word you say. Eso suena más pero, pesado, Juan, que decir, pero... don't forget to write yo me, every word you say. Yo me estaba confundiendo cuando estábamos haciendo las preguntas, bueno, las, las oraciones estas, y no veía dónde podía poner el sujeto. Ajá. Pero, o sea, lo que usted acaba de decir es de que cuando, como lleva un imperativo, ya no lleva un sujeto. Cabal, ese es el y punto. Y me estaba haciendo leña donde ponía you, donde ponía we, por ejemplo. Es lo mismo Pero... que en el español, ¿no? Sí. Eh, si yo me dirijo a todos ustedes, le diría... Eh, Hagan la tarea. Ha, hagan sus ejercicios en la plataforma. Hagan la tarea. Escuchen solo música en inglés. ¿Dónde está el sujeto? O me dirijo directamente a Giovanni. Giovanni, es, eh, ya, ya la re, le dije Giovanni, ok. Um, uh -huh. Escribe todas sus tareas. O sea, escribe, el sujeto va, va, va dentro del imperativo, básicamente. No. O sea, no va está... así escrito aparte, pues. Sí, de hecho, imperativos se ocupan para señalizar uh -huh. también. Señalizar. Está implícito. Tú lo ves, ¿no? Tú ves, está implícito, ¿no? Tú ves en la calle y ¿cómo dicen las señales? Stop. That's it. Stop. Los imperativos son representados por figuras. Uh, ves un, en el zoológico eh, una señal de una... Uh, de algo de comer, okay. ¿no? Y tiene una... Ajá. Y dice, don't feed the animals. La negativa. Don't feed the animals. 
¿ok? Ahora, esa forma que hemos visto, eso es don't forget, uh, ¿cuál era la otra? Remember. Remember, pray. try. 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 Be sure. Make sure. Be sure. Be sure. Be make sure. Ok, be sure, make sure, es lo mismo, ¿ok? Y esas formas, esas de estos cinco uh, partículas que vamos a agregar antes del imperativo, lo que hacen es volver más polite al imperativo y evitar mm -hmm. que suene muy pesado. Mm -hmm. Ok. Come back tomorrow. Puedo usar el nombre al final. Come back tomorrow, Rebecca. Don't miss any class. <laughs> ok. Uh, make sure. Ahora suena más polite decir make sure not to miss any class. ¿Ves? Asegúrate de no perder ninguna clase. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Yo creo well, que la entendí un montón ahorita que lo acabo de explicar en español. Uh -huh. Let's try to do it in English. Bueno, gracias por sincerarse todos y estar de acuerdo conmigo. English classes in Spanish. Ok. Sí, mm -hmm. yo, yo también estoy de acuerdo contigo, en Kike, que el problema es que muchos conceptos no nos los dieron en español. No nos los dieron en español al principio. En la educación básica de inglés, tú nos dieron muchos conceptos gramaticales en español y eso te disasocia uh -huh. más del español y se te se vuela uh -huh. la cabeza. ¿Por qué? Porque es importante que relaciones, como lo acabo de hacer, el español con el inglés. Ubicarte nada más. Como que yo te diga, ¿cuándo se ocupa el pasado perfecto? Si te lo digo en inglés y nunca lo has visto... Mmm. ¿Me explico? Entonces siempre es bueno ubicarse, más que todo a los adultos. A los adultos nos encantan que nos, que, que nos saquen de todas las dudas que tenemos. Antes de... Si ¿Sí es en serio. Si ¿Sí es en serio. Ya tengo seis años de hacer esto y es lo que he concluido. A los bichos no. Fíjate que hoy di cuatro horas de clase, una clase de bartender, de jóvenes en riesgo, y ellos están estudiando para ser bartender. Son bichos, mira, develados. Y encima en la mañana tuvieron prácticas de shots. O sea, ellos preparan los cócteles y todo y tienen que probar cómo les quedó el producto. Entonces, <risa> ya me llegan a la clase de inglés. Usted, teacher, también. A veces me toca. Pero sí, <risa> en serio. A veces me toca. Y mira, llego a la clase y yo, hey, come on, let's do it, que no sé qué. Y todo así. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uy, una cara de sueño. Y clase en la tarde en inglés. ¿Qué crees? Que me toca estarlos presionando y ahí, hey, párense, vamos, come on, read, que no se quede, let's talk. Entonces, con ellos es diferente. Con ellos eh, lo que me funciona es, pues, tirar la gramática una vez en español, dos veces en español, de ahí para allá todo es inglés y a meterle. Y, y lo absorben con esponja, o sea, ellos se inquietan, se rebuscan por la estructura gramatical en, en, en internet y al rato regresan y mire, hice estos es ejemplos, ¿verdad? Y, ya, entonces, eh, a nosotros lo que nos falta es eso, como adultos, abrir más la mente y poder interpretar lo que se nos está diciendo. Y si necesito algo, pregunto, y eso les quería decir, este grupo, este grupo, no sé qué les pasa, pero no me quieren hablar. O sea, si yo hablo con ustedes y les digo questions o algo, ya, todos callados. O sea, me dicen... Ajá, los divido en grupos y allá en los grupitos están, ¿qué dijo vos? No lo entendí. <risa> Come on, guys. Entre tarde no lo entendí. Siéntanse en confianza, hombre, si no se equivocan, yo no tengo trabajo, so. ¿ok? We'll okay. see you tomorrow. tomorrow. una última consulta. Yes, Carlos. Bye. Estoy confundido, que el día de ayer estaban viendo... Creo que eran infinitivos y ahora dice imperativo. ¿Es lo mismo o es otro? Ok. El imperativo es la orden tal cual. Vámonos ya. Ok. No. Vámonos ya. Imperativo. Es el okay. mensaje subliminal. <ríe> Ese es el imperativo. Terminemos la clase. Dice. Oí, Carlos. Vámonos ya. Y Ajá. el infinitivo sería el tú con el verbo. Ajá. Ok. To cook, to, con lo que yeah. estábamos to viendo cook, ayer. To cook, to run, lo que estábamos viendo ayer. Es decir, vimos los infinitivos primero antes de ver los imperativos. Mm -hmm. Y ahora sería to, to speak, to forgot, eh, imperativo. Okay. Vaya, ayer vimos to cook, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Hoy ves, es quitarle el tú. Y solo dice cook. Mm -hmm. Carlos, cook sí, the dinner. Cook. Carlos, cook the dinner. 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ese es un imperativo. Cook the dinner. Empiezo con el sujeto sin... Empiezo con el verbo sin ningún sujeto. Cook. Ok. okay, Después, okay. Ahora... Y luego el imperativo sería... ¿no? ¿Qué sería? El infinitivo sería... Um, make sure to cook the dinner. Ese es el infinitivo, el que va de segundo. ¿Sí? Lo okay. vemos mañana de nuevo. Repasamos cinco minutos y luego nos metemos de lleno a completar la sección 3 de su plataforma. ¿Ok? Good night. 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 Good night.